We are once again here at Culver's Garden and Greenhouse, and Joan and Bob join us again. We're heading toward the mid to late part of August. Time to start thinking about fall a little bit. Yeah, so today we thought we would really highlight, I think, one of the fall spectacular plants, and that's asters and mums. And here at Culver's, we take a lot of pride in what we, how we grow those, and we just thought we'd share a little bit about how to take care of them, because a lot of you are going to invest in them, how to make them last long, and really kind of the top picks of the colors. So, Bob, yeah. go for it. So, like Joan was saying, we're proud of our our moms, we grow them here. We get them in by in little plugs. They're about this tall. Mm -hmm. We start them in May, grown here, finished here, yeah. sold here. So, <laughs> kind of proud of that. Anyway, care on these moms. So when you get them home, you want to check them like every day for water. Doesn't mean they need water every day. We've been watering about every other day to every three days mm -hmm. here. Um, they like to get slightly dry, a little bit of a wilt in between is okay, and then a good thorough saturation. Now, um, we also talked about the asters, mm -hmm. which are right behind us. Same kind of care. Um, they're totally hardy here. They're zone three, so uh, enjoy them on your, your porch or wherever you want, and then get them in the ground when, they're, when you're done. Now, uh, there's nothing better for butterfly mm -hmm. attractors than asters they're amazing so if you're into butterflies that's a, no, a fall plan to do now you mentioned asters something you don't see often so it's it and you said put in the ground when you're done will yeah. they then yeah. they'll come back next year yeah mm -hmm. yeah and, and they'll last for years yeah so they are perennial and you will see wild asters sometimes in the ditches yes. um, these uh, we have are in purples there's traditional light and dark but we have some unique ones here and then we also have white uh, so there's some fun colors for people we uh, would recommend this year too if you put them in the ground not to split them until next spring and then you could split them and separate them out if you want to just because we've grown them together in the pot all year and breaking them apart right now might be a little hard on them uh, mums people ask all the time about are mums going to come back mm -hmm. we have some that will and some that won't so when you come into the store just ask us and we'll show you each direction and how many colors would you say we have Oh, of the the igloos that's the perennial ones i think there's uh 12 and uh mm -hmm. There are annual, annual moms, there's 40. That's awesome. Different so colors. Oh. Yeah. And I think one other thing, last thing, just people yeah. don't understand that we do season our moms so that they bloom at different times. Right. So if you uh, would like some that are early, we'll have some for the this next week. We have some for mid-September, and then we have some that go for late September. So if you are a person who wants to hold on to that spring and summer flower bed that you still have, don't worry. We'll have moms for you starting for your fall. So people think, I think, one and done. It's not true with moms. You can have them be seasoned, and we have them here all the way through the month so you can pick out what works best for you. We also have that in the asters too. Yeah, in the asters too. too. Yeah. Yeah. So what about the hardiness? You said they're hardy and stuff. How long, if you cover them and that, can you really keep them oh, outside? Yeah. Well, asters will last for yeah. years and years. Now the mums, like we said, we have annual mums and we have sure. perennial yeah. mums. Perennial mums, again, last for years. Right. You have to kind of dig them up every three or four years, divide them, mm -hmm. refresh them. So uh, when, like the annual mums, the longevity is about month and a half, two months of grooming. Yeah. If you water them properly, yeah. you'll get a lot. People always ask us, too, do you have to deadhead? Deadhead is aesthetically your choice. Um, you don't aren't required to. The buds are set, and they will emerge through. Our mums get so tight with the blooms that sometimes it's nice just to open up a few spaces, but truly, it's up to you if you want to deadhead them or not. It's time to start thinking fall, and you can get your asters and mums right here at Culver's Garden and Greenhouse. We'll be back with more, of course, as we head through the coming weeks to talk more about your fall planting needs.